My name is Lowry McLean, and uh, I am the one of the, I am the seventh generation. I was going to say one because I have a twin brother, so, so there are actually two of us of the seventh generation, and uh, I love the company dearly. Of course, there are a lot of Macleans, and not too many of them left in Scotland because uh, Scotland was a rather inhospitable commercial environment. And they left and went abroad, many to Canada, to Nova Scotia, as it were, New Scotland, and America, and New Zealand, and even South America. And the Macleans, my branch of the um, clan, came off a tiny island off the west coast of Scotland. In fact, the last piece of land before you reached Greenland, which meant it received uh, inhospitably the first of the cold blast of Arctic air from uh, Greenland, and it was very, very cold. There's a, a very special link between the Maclean's and John Smedley, and that link is wool. And the reason wool is so important is that it is a fabulous fiber. It was within the history of the company that wool was referred to, and sheep in particular, as God knew what he was doing when he invented the sheep. So it was very important to have wool because it clothed you literally from head to toe. Socks, kilt, uh, there are rumours about kilt not being as warm as they might be, but actually, because of the pleats, kilts are very heavy, pleats at the back, and then the double fold of the kilt, the wool fabric in the front. Then tweed jackets, also made of wool, and finally on your head, the tam or tammy. And that leaves one gap, one very significant gap, between the tweed jacket and the tam and that's the neck. You must have a wonderful scarf. And that scarf wrapped around your neck keeps the chill out, sometimes wrapped around your mouth if the air is freezing, or even over your ears. So all those wool garments uh, were very dear to the Scots and of extreme importance to John Smedley. Now here is uh, my father, he had this very strong jaw, once described by the press as the granite-jawed Ian McLean. And Diana, his wife, and uh, no family would be complete without at least once in their career, in their life, having had a dog as their best friend, and there's their black Labrador called Jane, who went everywhere with them. So here we have a photograph uh, taken, I think, in the mid-1940s, uh, probably as the Second World War was still raving. And here I am on the left, Lowry McLean, and with my twin brother, John. And uh, then that wonderful, enormous cart horse which is a sign of farming in the Second World War. There wasn't fuel for a tractor, so they used these enormous cart horses to pull plows, harrows, rollers, harvesters. And uh, the horses were very, although enormous, were very calm and tame. So there we were with Blossom. My late wife, Anne, and she was uh, her maiden name, Crawford, so she was also Scottish. And uh, my mother, Diana McLean, uh, purchased this uh, McLean tartan kilt for her and the McLean tartan scarf and uh, we were married for 54 years and lived in this beautiful house 
in Herefordshire.